NBC Sports Bay Area to catch a pretty improbable Golden State W. We welcome you here to Serve City. Yeah, no Steph, no Clay, no Draymond, no Andre Iguodala, who's been out forever, it seems like. And they win on the second night of a back-to-back -back against the Miami Heat. Offensive rebound, Jerome Robinson, nice head fake, and he reverses it home. Just like everyone expected, right? Yeah, Kevin? exactly. And no Quindary Weatherspoon. Yeah, you. yeah, very good point as well. The NBA regular season sometimes, very yeah. weird stuff happens because you know what? The Miami Heat thought that they were going to absolutely blast Golden yeah. State, and so you let your guard down, and boom, you slip up. Uh, there's Seth Cooper. I mean, the Warriors coming off absolutely the worst loss of the season to the Orlando Magic last night. And to turn around like this, very impressive for Steve Kerr's group. Figueroa, a little floater, no. Sell him keeping it alive. LJ tipping it to himself. Nice no look feed or the look off pass to LJ Figueroa. Hey, great energy on that trip down the floor. The multiple efforts to get the offensive rebound. That is a sign of a hungry team that is embarrassed about their last performance. Well, good starts haven't been the issue for Santa Cruz recently. They got out to a 19-2 lead against Salt Lake City, but lost by 12. Chris Silva inside, floating it short. Robinson, he was one of 10 from deep on Sunday. Brandon that Simpson. deep. Athletic wing missing that one. Very good three-point shooter as well. Shows you the confidence that he has pulling up off the dribble from deep like that. 41% from bonus distance this year for Samson. Eli Pemberton on his spin move, keeps that pivot foot down. LJ, oh, nice defense by Frazier. But LJ tracks back well defensively. A couple weeks ago, was when we talked about Frazier and wearing number 35 post Kevin Durant, right? Yeah. Uh, In Oklahoma except City? it was PJ Dozier. PJ Dozier. Yeah. Excuse me. Your Z I E R last name. Yeah, and the number. Yep. Yeah. It'll trip anybody up. He did play for the Oklahoma City Blue, Melvin Frazier Jr., their G League outfit. Yeah, see, I'm getting all this OKC yeah. stuff mixed up. We, we knew what you meant. Feed. Yeah, it was a nice pass. Oh, Selim not finishing. Pemberton, no. Breaking news, Eli Pemberton misses a left-handed yeah. <laughs> shot at the rim. He is up to 66% at the rim. That pass a little too far. Kendall Smith in open three. LJ. Robinson with the left hand, nice take on a good. That they have the ability to get to the line, draw that file, and then finish the play. Coach Jeff Newton called that the blue collar work ethic of this team. So the Warriors are going to have to be careful when playing defense down in the paint and as they're picking up in the midcourt. Back to you guys. Thank you, Zena. That's some good info right there. He's not happy with Santa Cruz's free throw rate because they are such a good free throw shooting team. Deep three doesn't go for Sampson. C Dubs lead the G League in free throw percentage at 81%. This is the fourth straight game, Drew, that Santa Cruz has held the other team scoreless for more than the first two minutes of the game. So what you're saying is, is this is a bad omen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they lost all those. Yeah, Santa three Cruz has not three. been able to sustain it. Santa Cruz up eight, nothing. Game over. Iowa's won. Yep. You can turn terrible, it terrible start for the C-Dubs. You know, catch Bonte Hill and company on Warriors post game line. Shot is short for Matt Lewis. Chris Silva backing down on Sella Mawube. Block. Robinson timed Robinson. it perfectly. He saw that Silva was going to go to that spin, and he just wanted to come over and help. And help he did. That was really impressive. I thought that was going to end up in a free throw opportunity for Mr. Silva. Left wing two, put on the line for Robinson. Right. 
It's been more than four minutes. Iowa still yet to score. A lob for Moose. Oh. <laughs> He's not just becoming a vertical threat. He now officially is a vertical threat. Uh, the, the vertical spacer getting his JaVale McGee on for the Santa Cruz Warriors. Oh, that pass. I like the idea, yeah. but it was high risk, high reward, and it was just a little bit behind Figaro. I think they're going to say he was going up with that one, Frazier. The foul called on, no, excuse me, on the floor. The foul on Figueroa. Here's Isaiah Miller been working on his point guard duties. Jeff Newton honing in on the fact that in addition to his 27 points in the win over South Bay, he had an eight assist game. And he said that was the key to that Iowa victory, his eight assists. Pick and roll with Chris Silva, and they're still scoreless after five minutes. Can Good the thing the ritual isn't that Santa Cruz fans stay standing <laughs> yeah, until the opposition I scores. I know, right? Oh, Eli, con la izquierda, senor. Man. Go try that shot yeah. by yourself with nobody in the gym a hundred times. See how many times you make it. Oh, that's an offensive foul. Yeah. I have a question for you, Drew. Will the Iowa Wolves score? They will score? not. They will not. They no, will not. They, they okay. will not. They will not score um, in the next uh, ten seconds. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, will they? Will they score in this game? Period. Who knows? That would be a record. It would. This would um, be national news. Yeah. Like global news. History on the line right now. Uh, Iowa once scored 152 against Santa Cruz a couple years ago. It's the most points they've ever scored in team history. Jerome Robinson working his way to the stripe. That was real nice work by Jerome Robinson in a confined, tight space. His handle was on point. He froze the defense. He was able to somehow find a seam and get in there to get to the line. Jerome's got four points in this game. He have 113 games of NBA regular season experience with the Clippers and the Wizards. You mentioned that he was one of 10 from beyond the arc the other night. You yeah. better believe he, for the last couple days, has had to think about yep. that performance because he was eight of 23 overall. He turned the ball over five times. He was minus 16, and he had been playing so, so well before that. Jerome Robinson fouled off the steal. And, well, the Wolves are 0 of 9. They've turned it over four times. They keep this pace up, Drew. They're going to finish 0 for 72 from the field with 32 turnovers. Again, global news. Yes. That would be. Uh, now this team is not good at taking care of the basketball. They turn it over 19 times a game, which is dead last in the G League. Smith somehow gets it inside to sell him who is fouled. Chance to make this a 16 nothing game. I remember the biggest deficit the Warriors ever got out uh, against was 21 to nothing. Easter Sunday 2016 against the Austin Spurs. I was going to say Austin. Yep. I don't remember if they've had a better start than 14 nothing. I don't think they have. 16 nothing, I think, puts it out of the question. Best start in Santa Cruz Warriors history. We're going to say it right here. If there's one person who would know, it is my partner, yeah. Kevin Dan. Yeah, I say that expecting zero resistance. So. <laughs> Here's Miller. Who dare cross you? Yeah. <laughs> Miller turn around in the oh, lane. Dang it. Cancel the post game show. I really thought they were going to go scoreless. <laughs> Inside, Mawube. Threw it a little too high for Evans, who just checked in. Three on one. Brandon Sampson. Now, will the C Dubs ever stop Iowa again? 
off one dribble, kind of a casual dribble into the corner for Ryan Taylor. He had to be very careful because there's not much space to dribble in the corner, but he had to take the one bounce just to get to his spot. And he is now 26 of 60 on corner threes this year, 43%. Way off on the floater for McKinley Wright. Jordy Chamanga. Chamanga keeping it alive. They reset the shot clock. It was at eight. They reset it to 14 when he like got it into the paint. Uh, it wasn't gonna matter either way, was it? Samson three. Chamonga the block. Sell him. Heads nice up. Nice job. Sprinting back. Frankie Ferrari going to come in for Kendall Smith. See that block by Chamonga. Chamonga, a 7-7 seven and seven guy, points and rebounds. Corner three, and that's a foul on Ryan Taylor. Brandon Sampson to the line, the former Bayou Bengal, teammate with Ben Simmons at LSU. In the 2015-16 season, he stayed a couple of more years in Baton Rouge, which is also his hometown, so I imagine he knows Jacob Evans quite well. They are the same age. Should be a three-point free throw, I believe. It'll be 19-10. Santa Cruz, not 19-9. Robinson, runner off the glass. Doing work in the mid-range. Official just said, sprinting down the court, yeah. looked over at the scores table. Score should be 21-10. It's our guy, J.D. Rawls. Well, obviously, he's our guy, yeah. Greg Dandridge, Ben Sturt, the other officials, as Chamanga misses with the left. He is a lefty. I thought Mawube logging huge minutes I here. I know. At the beginning of this quarter. Taylor, angle, triple. He hit his fourth, first four threes against Salt Lake City. He's hit his first two here tonight. Felt like only a matter of time before Taylor got it going again from beyond the arc. Sampson attacking a closeout. High arc and runner good. Malugbe with a great contest. Sampson just a beautiful touch shot. He has 10 of their 12 points. Robinson. He ain't going one for 10 from deep tonight, Drew. Yeah, he was feeling himself on that possession because he delivered that pass and had a look on his face like, oh, did you see that? <laughs> and then hunted that three by sprinting over towards the ball. The defense by Jacob disrupting oh, offensive that foul. Lewis. Oh. They call downtown. That number figures to continue to go north. Leak Ben Levy in, setting up Sampson, who has had the only hot hand for Iowa. But it ricochets. I see him, Miller. That is a tough finish. Number 10 went straight up. Good resistance, even better shot. Nobody levitates in midair quite like Isaiah Miller. He's, he's got a good vertical, but his like horizontal leap is in, out of this world. Hopefully we see it at some point over the next two games because I will be here tonight and Friday. And then Santa Cruz will wrap up its home campaign Saturday against the Austin Spurs. Miller contested. LJ the rebound. Eli showing and going and getting fouled. Pemberton will go to the line for a two point free throw. He might have been able to pass that one off to Ryan Taylor in the corner. But it looked like Chamanga was going to close out on Taylor. Eli hits the free throw. Let's 
Silva. Ooh. Just bullied his way to the block. That is exactly what he did. I thought maybe there was going to be a touch foul called. Oh, cutting down the lane. It's wiped off the window for a goaltend. Another nice off-ball movement play there for Eli Pemberton. And definitely got to the backboard first before Silva touched it. Matt Lewis at three is good. Averaging just under 10 points per game, the James Madison Duke. Well, sometimes playing zone will lead to a team getting open looks. Although Ferrari did a good job on that closeout, gave good effort. Good ball movement here for Pemberton for three in the nose. Yeah, Pemberton, he can knock it down from deep, but it is somewhat of a line drive. Yeah. So he doesn't give himself a ton of room for air. Yeah, not a, a lot of arc on that three-point shot of his as there is a foul on LJ Figueroa. That'll be a two-point free throw coming up for Chris Silva. He's from Gabon in Africa, and he came over to the United States in high school. And his coach picked him up. This is the kind of guy he is. He had three workouts the same day he landed in the United States. I mean, it's a pretty long flight. And he told his coach who picked him up, Coach, I go NBA. First thing he said to him. <laughs> and he's gone NBA. He has three years of NBA experience, 69 games. Thrown over the head of Figueroa. Here comes Lewis with the left and one for Matt Lewis. Well, the 16-0 start is starting to completely yeah. dwindle. It's been cut in half, that lead. What do they say about leads in the G League? They aren't safe. Okay, just checking. That's what I thought. Seven point game after Lewis completes the three point play. 10.9 left. Santa Cruz can hold for one. Robinson, a little short. Pemberton really fighting. Santa Cruz with a seven point lead heading into the second quarter. And Lewis caught that on the sideline. Here's Ferrari. A flash in mid post. Put it in though. Isaiah Miller living it out to Frazier. Miller gets it back and sinks the three. Isaiah Miller, not known for his three point shooting at 30%. It's a big one there to cut it to four. We talk things into existence too much <laughs> on these broadcasts. Ledoux attacking the closeout to the hoop. Nice finish. Good to see Caleb back out on the court. Did not play on Sunday in the loss to Salt Lake City. Chamanga. Leads to a turnover. Here comes Ledoux to Ferrari into the corner. Figueroa for three in and out. Not just the nature of the game, Drew, that one team gets up big and the other team comes back. I mean, that's the NFL blitz. Yes, <laughs> the G League is NFL blitz. 
runner good That's for the NFL Silva. blitz business model. Yeah. NBA and jam what? too. Yeah, oh yeah. Did you ever win a game by like three or four touchdowns on NFL Blitz? I I, I truly don't think it's possible. Yeah. De bomb. That was the De ball. That was all. Oh, yeah. Reversing uh, the layup in Isaiah. And he is draft eligible this year. He could be selected in the 2022 draft. As you'll get some pre-draft workouts, we wish him the best of luck. Three is strong there for Robinson. Who had himself a great first yeah. quarter, although the three-point shot's still not there. He's now one of six. There's a corner three, and that lead has completely been wiped away. Isaiah Miller with 12 to lead the Wolves. Caleb Ledoux inside, and short, and Frazier takes it away. Kinley Wright dropping it off. Silva back to right. No, make that Miller laying it in. Isaiah Miller with 14. Stolen by Miller. McKinley Wright, the fourth is fouled. I mean, this is just not the same game that was played the first six minutes. Yeah. It was 16 to nothing after six minutes. Since then, it has been 36 to 17, Iowa. And there is a stoppage. Of, uh, I think McKinley Wright is he's still yeah. trying to see if he's okay. Hopefully, yeah, he's he might have banged his head somewhere. I didn't quite see. Now here it is. Oh, yeah, right there from Caleb Ledoux. The foul went on Ryan Taylor, who picked up his second. And Selma Mawugbe committed a lane violation, so we will do this all over again. Kenley Wright, a former Colorado Buffalo. Missing the free throw, a homecoming of sorts for McKinley Wright, who is a native of Minneapolis, on a two-way contract with the Timberwolves. Nice finish. Yeah. Again, Mahugwe was there. Chris Silva, I should say native of Minnesota, is McKinley Wright. Officially from North Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Corner three, Ryan Taylor. Doesn't carry over from the first quarter as far as his th hot three-point shooting, at least for now. Silva, indeed. I mean, it isn't just that the lead is gone. Uh, yeah. Iowa is starting to build on Yeah, it. they're up seven now. Ryan Taylor in the lane, okay, off the bounce, a little runner goes for Ryan. He's got eight. We call it the Ryan runner. The we Ryan don't see him very no, often. No, we don't. When we do, we gotta call it oh, yeah. by a nickname. The Silva short. And a little oh. drop in for the dude. One tough finish for Caleb. Kept the ball high and was able to absorb the bump. Well, we'll do a 77% free throw shooter. Caleb, chance to cut it to a deuce, and he does. He's picking up right and races past him. 
Kinley to the 10. And a nice rebound for Caleb. Tracked back well defensively. As Santa Cruz now has a chance to reclaim the edge here. Or tie it up. Pemberton probing underneath. And comes back to the other side. That is a lot of probing. Yeah. Kendall Smith in the mid range. His first basket, and we're tied up. 7 0 run for Santa Cruz. After Iowa started the corner on his 16 2 run, Selm going to get called for the foul on Chris Silva. Just his first. Yeah, that's a, that's a good number for a big man midway through the second quarter. Well, especially Mawugbe, who has had some foul trouble issues this season. Not much as of late because he's just gotten so much better and more comfortable. Silva, the second Gabonese player to make the NBA behind Stefan Lazmi. Who, uh, Lazmi played with the Texas Legends a few years ago. Very solid player. It was after his NBA stint. Contested three doesn't go for Ledoux. Ben Levy, good reversal into the corner. Frazier, a catch and shoot. Three drops it in. Been a fan of this guy for years. Love watching some Elvin Frazier Jr. There is a foul. Pemberton to the line. There's the Frazier three. Nice pass back. Behind his body from right. Frazier, a 34% three point shooter, and Pemberton at the line. This is what he does so well. He has 15 free throw attempts in his last two games. He thought it was short. He did. Oh, he kind of let the shoulders slump yeah. even after it went in. <laughs> but that's how you know things are going well for you. Yeah. Silva. Pemberton made him think about it, but he collects his own miss. He is close to a double-double in the G. 15.8 points, 8.7 rebounds per game this year, Silva. Got to a final four with South Carolina. It's Silva. Corner three a little strong. Kinley right, the four. Nice feed to Frazier. Can't bury it from that corner. Silva, another rebound, another putback. And Chris Silva is dominating down low. With no Selimawugbe, tough for Santa Cruz to keep him off the glass. Perfect yeah. cut. You can hear the 13 per game. Up from 6.4 last year in the G League bubble. Played in 10 games for Santa Cruz. Part of a really stacked backcourt with Jeremy Lin, Nico Mannion, Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole probably shouldn't be the third player mentioned out of those three, but had a lot of talent, got to the semis. Frazier. Two to shoot from McKinley right the foot. Iowa has scored 51 points in essentially 13 and a half minutes. As they did not score for the first six minutes of this game. Peverton got blocked. Oh, it sounded Ooh, like all ball. And then kind of got bailed out. Yeah. Getting some respect from the officials. Now let's take a look at this here. Oh, yeah, he uh, got hit. Yeah, yeah. It was right. just a late whistle. Jordy Chamanga picking up his second. Chamanga, another guy with roots in Africa. His father played professionally in Congo. That's where he was born. As Pemberton hits the two-point free throw.
Corner three for Sampson, well short. Eli open. And that seemed to be a conscious decision by Iowa to let him shoot a three instead of attacking oh, no the route. Doubt. Evans an easy steal, and he will race the other way for the flush. He made that look so casual. Nicely done. That's where he hangs his hat. And look at Santa Cruz forcing the turnovers. Uh, Iowa is very loose. He spent his entire professional career with uh, one of two organizations at the G League or NBA level, the Timberwolves and the Warriors. Catch and shoot three. Drops in for Frazier. Second triple. Both from that spot on the court. So the C-dubs trail by three. A lob got deflected. It was going to be a layup. Yep. Looking for Figueroa. Iowa's got eight guys available tonight. C-dubs have nine. Iowa's been playing with eight like the last couple of weeks as Figueroa puts it in. And LJ on pace for a double-double with six points and seven rebounds. Lewis contested three. All right, nearly poked it away from Robinson. Kendall Smith trying to kick it back out. LJ open in the corner. Let's out a fist pump. He was happy that that one yeah. went through because his three-point shot has somewhat been shaky as of late. Yeah, I mean, he was high 30s, low 40s at the start of the regular season. It has dipped down to 31% as Lewis gets blocked and fouled by Jacob Evans the third. The more Mawugbe minutes coming up. He'll check in alongside Frankie Ferrari. And you mentioned this earlier, Drew, that Selim's gotten a lot of burn here. I, if he finishes the half on the floor, he will be at 17 minutes yeah. and 43 seconds. And he has played 31 minutes in a game this year. He averages 21 minutes, of course. Uh, spent a good chunk of the season on a minutes restriction after banging his knee in November. Lewis, high arcing free throw goes. Tied up. Cruz and Iowa usually play good game. There's a lob. Frankie for Selim. Ferrari with his second assist. Top 10 in the G League, an assist per game. Pass fake. Frazier might have walked there. Corner three for Frazier. out by Melvin. So Isaiah Miller back in. Largely considered the best basketball player in UNC Greensboro history. Alley-oop from Mwugbe disrupted by Silva. Robinson had already made up his mind. He wanted yep. to throw the lob. He could have just, should have just shot it. Chris Silva lays it in. He's got 18 points. Evans beats everyone down the floor. Great job at making sure he was watching Silva. So that way he could time his steps up to be able to negate the shot blocker by going up into him with that left leg. C-dubs by a deuce. Miller had a momentary open look. Defended well there by Selim on the high post entry. Miller. He'll let it loose this time. Tracks down his own rebound and lays in. Must drive Seth Cooper mad. Yep. And we are tied at 60. Ferrari. Poked away from behind. Santa Cruz has had trouble finishing halves. There's an and one. 
and a two for one for Iowa. Yeah, so we have seen this come back to bite the C-dubs time after time during this recent five game losing streaks. Uh, losing streak, fast starts followed by really rough finishes to the first half. We'll hear from Nick Kerr at halftime. Santa Cruz assistant and catch up with our Zena Kata. Frazier to complete the three point play, he does. Nine second difference. 39 point quarter for the Wolves. Mawukbe off a perfectly placed lob by Ferrari. Feels like Mawukbe has 39 lob dunks tonight. I know. Well, that'd be in, he'd have 78 points if that were the case. Which also would be global news. Yeah. <laughs> Seems impossible considering Santa Cruz has 62. Five seconds. Well, you know, left. alternative facts. <laughs> Mawukbe, the rebound. I like that from Jacob at February 26th. Nearly a whole month for the regular season games, that is. Not counting In today's game, with the three ball meaning so much, you're just not going to win no. many games. Yeah. You know, I was talking with Seth Cooper at practice yesterday. He's like, he's got to make some shots. Yeah, sometimes it really is that simple. It's a make or miss league, I believe I've heard a time or two. That is a real nice play to get Jerome Robinson free, but he is struggling with his shot from beyond the arc right now. One of seven from downtown, two of 17 over the last two games. He was high 30s at one point. Well, blocks the shot of Sampson there, though. And Mugbe rips it away. Robinson. It's the screen. Kendall, nice bounce pass to Figueroa. Kind of caught it off balance. The offensive rebound, it's an Eli Pemberton three. It was a laser, it was. but he had perfect accuracy. Pew! Nice sound effect. Thank you. I'm not even going to try it right now because <laughs> I don't know what would come out. <laughs> That's what you get for watching Star Wars growing up. <laughs> it's, and Star Trek probably too, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Should you we tell know. people what you texted us the next day? Oh yeah, I, I found a picture <laughs> of myself as Data, the android from what Star Trek. What was it, uh, when you were seven? Yeah, second grade, Halloween costume. The only time I dyed my hair. Runner off the glass, no for LJ, trying to keep it alive and rips it away from Frazier. Second opportunity for Kendall Smith and Santa Cruz. Push shot in the lane, good for LJ Figueroa. Who has to somewhat settle into a role in which he's not playing the small ball five because Mabugbe is really cemented himself in that position and he's playing big minutes at center. McKinley right, the fourth rattling out of three. The cutting Pemberton takes the contact. So a good start to the second half, much like the first. And they've held Iowa scoreless for the first 237 of the third quarter. Asia. His fifth free throw attempt of the game already. He is four for four for seven free throw points, make it five for nine for nine FTPs. Eighteen for Pemberton. FTPs. What if that's something that oh I don't know in five to seven years it's like a a real stat in the NBA. What if yeah. they adopt this rule? So I so Seth Cooper doesn't think it's gonna happen. Okay. 
he thinks that they will adopt the there were a couple of rules he thought they'd adopt now I'm trying to remember which ones they were but he didn't think that would be one well they did take the coaches challenge fall away from Robinson doesn't go created the space but just didn't get his legs into it missed it short Oh yeah, one of them was the reset timeout. I'm the worst lip reader on the planet. Zena Kata was at this conversation with me and is trying to tell me. Oh, and two minute overtimes, yes. Oh, that. I'm the slowest person on the planet. Absolutely should happen. Yeah. Maybe three minutes, I would accept three minutes. Five is just an eternity. It is way too long of an overtime. Kendall Smith hits the three. Well, it, when Santa Cruz joined the G League, it was a three-minute overtime. Then they changed it two minutes a few years ago. Give me two or three. Give yeah. me 230. Okay, split just, the difference. Just not five. Sampson way strong it's on the three. half a quarter. I mean, you've played 48 minutes. Why yeah. do you need to play? Yeah, exactly. 41.7% of a quarter if we're splitting hairs. <laughs> Which apparently we are. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Runner from the baseline is good for Figueroa. And he's got 13. The lead is 9. It is a 12-2 start to this quarter for Santa Cruz. That's an illegal screen or a foul on the screen on Eli Pemberton trying to battle through it. Yep, that's and what McKinley it is. And McKinley Wright points up at the basket saying, come on, man. Yeah. My shot went in. <laughs> why, why are you calling the foul? Yeah, I mean, if McKinley got that off quicker, yeah. he would have gotten credit for that three. He kind of took his time, lets that one loose. Yeah, and he, he was not going to be denied yep. that three points. 74-68. Kendall Smith had it poked away, but a foul will be called. It'll be on Matt Lewis. Smith will throw it in. Jerome Robinson a three oh. in and now. Give him an assist. Ledoux on the follow. Kelly Wright rising and missing and Silva taps the rebound to a teammate. It was Matt Lewis. Seven to shoot for Frazier on a spin move. Oh, no, looks sweet. it out. Oh. I, I kind of hope that went in because that was a brilliant pass from Frazier. Don't worry, I won't tell Santa Cruz yeah. team president yeah. Chris Murphy no. you said that. No. <laughs> we'll keep that on the DL. Or Seth Cooper or yeah. <laughs> the sweet hoodie. It is at our Seascape like Beach like Resort there. of the game. Yeah, I didn't get a great look at it. Remember the movie Ted? Fantastic yeah, movie. I gotta watch that again. Was there a second one? Yeah, there was a second one. It was good. You didn't see the second one? I don't think so. I think I'd remember if I did. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed it. Chris Silva. Two-time first-team All-SEC. Co-defensive player of the year in the SEC as a junior. Alongside the Time Lord, Robert Williams, when he was at Texas A&M. Ledoux off the handoff. Now that one never had a chance. Why From our angle, we knew it yeah. was off. Ben Levy, former Salt Lake City star, third year in the G. Frazier short there, the rebound tapped by Ferrari to himself. A lob for Figueroa snuck behind. Frazier couldn't shove it in, though. And Lewis lost it going up. Knocked out of his hands by Azita.
comes the defense. Uh, Jacob Evans played nicely. Evans was, at the time, when he was drafted by Golden State, and still is an NBA-ready defender. No, no one doubt. would ever contest that. Yeah. Just the shooting, the offense, something he needs to continue to develop. Very heady player, though. Jacob and Jerome. Alive. There's Robinson. Off on the three. Drew, I remember saying in the first half that Jerome Robinson wouldn't go one of ten from three tonight. He's one of nine right now. Well, yeah, he's you know needs to get up 11 threes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Robinson, huh? nice mitts there. Nice pass. Ledoux pays it off. Jerome Robinson, that's 10 assists. That it is, a double-double for Jerome Robinson. And oh yeah, he are, also has three steals and three rebounds. Speaking of double-doubles, LJ Figueroa, 13 points, 13 boards. I'm pretty sure Robinson's season high on assists. Was seven. Tonight, was seven, and yeah. he matched it in the first half. Yeah. And he's up to 10. He's blazing past it. Back door for Lewis. Now look at that rim protection by yeah. Robinson. And help side. Miller, well defended by Ferrari. Chamanga didn't need to put it up. There's still plenty of time, and it was kind of a wild shot. It looked like a shot clock beater of a shot. Figueroa. Nice pass to Caleb Ledoux. Circus shot doesn't go. Lewis driving and dishing Ben Levy, a capable three-point shooter, a little strong. And a technical foul on LJ Figueroa. So 50. Interesting, did not see that coming. Yeah. 50 bucks out of his pocket, I'm not sure for what. It was just a very calm technical that was assessed, yeah. you know? Crew in the back, they looked at a replay. They didn't see anything that would indicate that Figueroa yeah. could have done Just something. Just a very calm, yeah. subdued technical on this guy. Must Figueroa didn't really contest it that yeah. hard. Must have said something to someone. Frazier plays the passing lane. Ben Levy. Frazier, oh, foul. To get a second chance and to keep the ball alive. It not only gives them a second chance, it slows down the transition offense of the Iowa Wolves. So incredibly important. I think he's at five right now and 13 overall. So great performance by LJ Figueroa. Back to you guys. Definitely is. Thank you, Zena. Yeah, five offensive rebounds. Indeed. C Dubs turned it over there. LJ on the bench. Right now. Isaiah Miller navigating his way through traffic. Yep, yep, yep. Iowa a chance to tie or take the lead. Frazier steps into a three, and it's just a little strong. Look at that box out. out. Yeah, how about that? to Manga by Mawugbe. I, I mean, you love it, but if you are Mawugbe, get that box out and then go yeah, hunt he, and, and get the rebound. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a double-double to get as well. Eight points and seven rebounds for Selim. Jerome Robinson will take a seat. Smith and Eli back in for Santa Cruz.
Pemberton. It gets to yeah. Mwugbe. He'll get the assist. Yeah. And he owes half of the assist to Iowa for the deflection. Yeah. I'll take it. C-dubs by four. Silva trying to bully his way on the smaller Pepperton. Head fake. And then Mawugbe says that's all ball. Craig Dandridge does not agree. Not all ball. Silva had been pretty quiet here in the second half after a huge yeah. first half. But it's definitely contact here. Yeah, it looked like on the follow through, I think he got his face. Although I'll admit that the replay actually didn't look as egregious, the foul. Yeah. yeah, I think he definitely got ball first. He might have gotten skin after. Well, Silva, 18 points in the first half. He's at 24 now. Pemberton into the corner for Ryan Taylor. A little pull-up game this time. Awugbe, the offensive rebound. Trying to thread the needle to the cutting Kendall Smith, who might have jammed a finger. Checking his digits. Five to shoot. Got to go. Pemberton, a step back to beat the buzzer, just rattles out. What a forward by Silva. Yes. Went and Silva. got it with that left hand. Eight rebounds. He averages a little more than eight, and it's deflected away from him. Smith for Taylor. 2 of 26 from the right wing. Thought better of it. He knew it. That's why he didn't shoot it. Good defensive possession here by the Wolves. Ladue breaks down the defense, though. Offensive foul. Seth Cooper immediately turns around to see if he can get a replay. Yeah. Aaron Bowman, coaching, coaching associate, is cutting the game up live. And I think kind of gave Seth the, the nod that uh, it was an offensive foul. Yeah. Floater in and out. It is off Mawukbe. And LJ will come back in for the final 60 ticks of the third quarter. Some more size in there. He's going to man Chris Silva. Sampson, escape dribble, triple. But a nice closeout there by Sela Mawukbe. Figaro with a strong rebound is 14. Sidestep three, Ryan Taylor on fire. Three of four from downtown tonight. C-Dubs by five. Oh! Oh, wow, Mawukbe, I think it's called for the foul. But still, yeah. you love the effort to get back into the play to go for the block. Selma Mwugbe, a lot of fun to watch. Making he plays with emotion, I like it. Yes, me too. He's got a chance. Chamonga way off. I mean, what a great foul. Yeah. He saved two points. And Mwugbe running run the, the floor and throwing it down. He is really putting together some good film. 12 points for Selma, but they leave Sampson all alone. Nice fly out there by LJ Figueroa. Santa Cruz is going to get the last shot here. Miller. Floats Ooh, that in. Nice. <laughs> Five point game. Final shot here for the C Dubs, who will take the CBA quarter point. Win in the third, they'll take a lead into the fourth. One second, Smith was well, so holding Iowa to just 18 points in the third quarter. The Wolves were shooting 51% at halftime. They're down to 42% after three quarters. Kendall Smith lost it. Turnover number 13 for Santa Cruz. Iowa with 12 giveaways, and that will be an offensive foul. 
on Chris Silva. <laughs> and he pointed over at the official and reenacted what he did with the Euro step. But he didn't really Euro step. No, he didn't, although that's a, that's just such a tough call. Yeah, it's it bang is bang. Tough call. Like you just you can't really get upset with an official over the block charge unless it is so clearly obvious yeah. in real time. And they rarely are. McKinley Wright. Looking inside for Silva. Face up Jimmy. He's proficient at that shot. Chamanga cleans it up. Jordy Chamanga, his first bucket. Mahube was not in the paint because he contested that shot, and nobody else did the job necessary to secure the board. A nice little ball fake there by Pemberton. And again, left hand reverse on the right side of the basket. Back to back games with 20 plus for Eli. Isaiah Miller. They go inside to Chamonga. Pass deflected and batted out of play by Pemberton. Right. He's got five points in this game. Just two of eight. Been a minus 19 through three quarters. Didn't get it off in time, Sampson. That's a good run out there by Ryan Taylor. Those effort plays matter. They don't yep. show up in the box score, but because Taylor sprinted out, Sampson felt like he needed to pump fake or his three-point attempt was going to get blocked. Figueroa backing down on the smaller Miller. Kendall Smith, high archer. Miller speeding down Broadway, oh. lays it in with the left. He I'm is. just at times blown away at some of the shots these guys make. Oh, They're yeah. just so talented. Isaiah Miller can play. He's got 22 off the bench, five assists. Ryan Taylor passes a little bit away from him. Figueroa's gonna step back and pass it off. LJ, right back to Ryan Taylor who lays it up and in. For a second I thought that everyone was overpassing, but it ended up working out. Well, Ryan Taylor started like seven of 21 around the rim. He's hit about five of his last seven inside, so. He's got that rim field goal percentage up, and now Santa Cruz running. Figueroa taking some contact, it appeared. Well, there was contact, but not enough to get the call. Miller, almost too high for right. Posting up Silva. Figueroa playing him into the double team, forcing the travel. That was brilliantly positioned by LJ Figueroa. Pulled the chair out. Pulled the chair, forced him baseline where he knew Selim was gonna be. Good team defense from the C-Dubs. Good team analysis right there. Kevin, I love it. Uh, every now and then, broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> I handle there from uh, Ferrari. Lucky. Yeah, thought it might have been a discontinued dribble. Taylor, a Ryan runner? Yes, it'll go. Is that three buckets like in the paint basically for Taylor tonight? Yes, it is. I mean, that's got to be a first this season. Yeah. He's expanding his game. He's very that's athletic. That's great to see. Yeah. Inside, almost oh. an and one, but oh. Silva will go to one. Fortunately, he didn't go in because that would have been one of those, ah, what are you doing, touch fouls. Yeah. The one free throw worth two points for Silva. Three years of NBA experience. He was traded to Sacramento along with Mo Harkless for Nemanja Bialica. Went to the Miami Heat, of course. Belly now with 
the Golden State Warriors. So there's a Chris Silva Golden State connection for you. Did he have himself a revenge game today? Uh, Beal leads a balled out tonight. Did he? Okay. Yeah, he had a good game. I don't know what he finished with, but oh, he was I'll playing take a well. Look. He had a good game against Orlando too. Playing well last few games out. Ferrari in open three is strong. Selm's gonna bat it back out there. Taylor getting past Silva and Chamonga says, uh-uh. Oh, and it's still in. Taylor trying to score again. Inside. Go to Silva. Double comes. Nice pass. Good ball movement. Matt Lewis in it out. Chamonga flies in. Chamonga will go to the line. It's really getting physical inside. Yep. It's the fourth on Mawupe. Here's this block from Chamonga. Don't try him. Hey, Santa Cruz was interested in Jordy Chamonga. They were interested in making him a tryout guy. He eventually made the Cleveland charge as a tryout player, and then he was traded to Iowa in the middle of November. Yeah, Bielitsa, 9.6 rebounds, five assists in 19 minutes. He will Solid. take that. In and out, iron very unkind to Chamonga there. Evans bouncing it to Jerome Robinson, nicely done. The push shot goes in to give Robinson 13, and the lead is back up to seven. Good vibes here for Santa Cruz tonight. Can they stop the five-game losing skid? Matt Lewis, for the second time today, catches it on the sideline. They're not going to let Figueroa get in. You'll see it right here. False yep. step. That's got to be such a bad feeling oh, when you yeah. start your drive and you hear the whistle. Yep. You know that you either are called for a travel yep. or for stepping out of bounds. Ferrari pulling up. Nice screen by Mawube. Lewis. All day for Miller to shoot. And Chamonga essentially just took the offensive rebound away from Silva. Another bite of the apple and Selma Wukers. Jacob Evans the third has five. He's on the floor. And Selma Wukbe has five. Selma's played 32 minutes tonight. Another offensive rebound, but it's ripped away by Robinson. 17 offensive rebounds yeah. now for Iowa. A steal, Miller. Traversing oh. through traffic yeah. and putting it in. He is fun to watch. Yeah, this guy's a ball player. He's got 24 points and five assists, and he is now a team best, by far a team best, plus 19. Yeah, in a five point deficit, he has been hooping. First team foul in Iowa, it's the second personal on Matt Lewis. See Miller going to work. Third all time in UNC Greensboro history in points, 1967 for his career. He spent four years in UNC Greensboro, a Covington, Georgia native. Miller in the lane, the runner, no. Ryan the rebound. Taylor, his first non point stat. In a positive department. He's got 15 points. Robinson short on that three. Is, All right, so he's at one of ten. He's got, he's got to make one more. Driving baseline, Lewis gets fouled. And Frankie Ferrari will go to the bench. Kendall Smith checking in. That is the fourth team foul already on Santa Cruz, and this is a two-point free throw, so I was going to be shooting freebies from here on out. They've already attempted 15 free throws compared to eight for Santa Cruz. Iowa 11 of 15, the C-dubs 8 of 8, so 
Santa Cruz trying to get to the line. Moore hasn't quite worked out. Lewis short on that free throw. Uh, another. And another foul. And that is the 18th offensive rebound? 18th or 19th? Yeah. Listen, as a Silva just got inside Figueroa there. Well, this could come back to bite the seat of as Silva rips the cord with a two point free throw. Chris Silva, 28 points and 12 rebounds, by the way. Santa Cruz also with a ton of second chance points. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 21 to 20, 20 in favor yeah, exactly. of Santa Cruz. Yeah, they're out SCP in the Iowa Wolves right now. Back door is Kendall Smith. Oh, who he's in. He might have gotten away with a little bit of a shove. You thought so. He is strong and was able to quickly get the shot up off the glass. 9.6 assists, just two turnovers for Kendall Smith. A good game for him. Lead is five, under five. We have entered clutch time. Isaiah Miller rattling out of three. And there's the 16th carom corral for LJ Figueroa. Jerome Robinson got a head start and dumped it. 7 1 4, 4,400. Win number 48 for Golden State earlier tonight. Santa Cruz looking for regular season win number 11 in 28 tries. Melvin Frazier Jr. somehow threaded the yeah, needle inside to Silva. They lose control of the basketball, and here comes Figueroa. Smith. Too hot to handle for Melvin Frazier Jr. And it leads to a Figueroa layup inside. That was a surefire turnover. Yes, it was. And instead, it's free ice cream. Courtesy and Lawler's Law. Of the Penny Ice Creamery. Yes, the first team to 100 points wins 93% of NBA regular season games. Probably a little bit lower in the G League, but still a good signal for the C Dubs. That's an offensive foul, it appeared. Do they have the numbers for playoff games in the NBA? That's a good question. I don't know. I, and That's I'm not I sure if Lawler's Kevin. Law of website <laughs> tracks NBA regular season playoffs combined or just regular right, season. Right. Sampson with a big three. That's a foul. Sell him foul going up, wanting the end one. He's got another double-double with 14 points and 10 rebounds. Actually, it's 12 and 10. They gave Selma Wugbe credit for that last bucket that was made by LJ Figueroa, so Figueroa should have 15 and 16. Salah Mawugbe, try to get to 14 with this free throw right here. And he misses. First miss of the game from the stripe for Santa Cruz. Dullum now one for two. Kenley Wright into the corner for Frazier. He gets fouled. And that is a two-point free throw coming up. Yep. It's the third on LJ, who has had a fantastic game to this point. Frazier at the stripe. And Iowa has left a lot of points at the line. 12 of 18 now. Figueroa's 16 rebounds a season high and a G League professional career high. Kendall Smith. Here comes Robinson oh. down the baseline. And a quick little flex. Yes, sir. Uh, Jerome Robinson's been doing everything tonight. 17 points, four rebounds, 10 assists, four steals, two blocks. Everything but make threes. And I mean, that looked like a travel. And yes. Santa Cruz gets the ball because I guess that dunk attempt just. It missed. Missed. Didn't even get blocked. There's a little flex after that nice baseline finish for Jerome Robinson. Oh, 
Robinson didn't realize he was wide open. They found the back door, cutting Kendall Smith instead. He just wanted another assist. Yes. And that was a real tough finish by Kendall. Double figures for Kendall. He's got 11. The lead is 10 for Santa Cruz in a game that Iowa desperately needs. They're oh. a half game back, and there's a big shot. Desperately needed that three. I mean, that, yep. he misses that. The game is over. Saves the game for the time being. Matt Lewis with 11. Jerome Robinson, a three is too strong. McKinley Wright pulls up for a three, no good. McKinley Wright, a 36% three-point shooter. Not sure about that one, though. Chris Silva out of the play, and Kendall Smith takes advantage. All right, you get to stop here. Yeah. And you're in business. Iowa's got to score. Yeah, they're a half game back of the last playoff spot right now. Oh, Matt Lewis again with the layup. He is keeping Iowa kind of alive. And that ends up working out for Santa Cruz, but it Smith didn't need to pass it to Mabube yeah. right there because he were kind of putting the big man in somewhat of a tough position. And also, that play only took six seconds. Right. So, kind of doing Iowa a favor. Mawugbe on the season 70% from the foul line, one of two tonight. Two big free throws here. And he sinks the first one. Jeff Newton drawing up a play on his dry erase board. He's oh. thinking about what to do. Okay, which play do I want to go with? They got two timeouts and a reset. He's going to use, it looks like, the timeout right now, or maybe just the reset. He's, uh, oh, he was asking for which side. Interesting. But Sullivan missed the free throw, so they're going to go. Lewis. Oh, Robinson, Robinson the steals steal. the win. Good night, Iowa. Sampson. Lewis. Good closeout. Well, maybe not. I wonder if they can get free ice cream themselves at the Penny Ice Creamery. They don't have a ticket stub. No, they don't. Matt Lewis, free throw. Lewis hitting the first two. He's got one more. The first James Madison Duke to sign an NBA contract when he signed a train camp deal with Minnesota since Steve Hood was drafted by Sacramento in 1991. It's all three. Oh, just over the hand of Jerome Robinson. And well, when you're trying to snap a five game losing streak, it's never easy, Drew. And if you're Ferrari, just hold the ball and get fouled. Yeah. They were going to foul. Yeah, you can't exactly just let eight seconds waste. It's an interesting use of the reset here. To move it up an extra 10, 10 feet. feet. Yeah. 15, 20 feet. But I mean, this is where you draw a play, so it, it does make sense to yeah. use it. One more stop. It's all the C-dubs need. Sampson gets off the three. Rebound. Row Ryan Taylor couldn't get in. Well, at least Robinson. a lot of time is coming off the clock. Yeah, 14.9. Chris Silva leaving it all on the floor tonight. And I'll bring Kyle Hunter and his crew out to midcourt. Wipe up the wet spots. Congrats to Kyle Hunter, who will be working the NCAA tournament games at Chase Center. Sweet 16 and Elite Eight. Awesome. There's Kyle in the black. He has been a, a year one OG C-dub, Kyle Hunter. Great dude. Fantastic at his job. Right 
Robinson hits both free throws. He's got 21. And this one pretty much over. They need 3-3. Sampson short. Silva does get the rebound. Just don't foul here. Frazier missing. Kendall the rebound. And the C-Doves have made it that 